what is a learning journal? A learning journal has many different aspects and it can be defined in many different ways. But for our purposes, we're going to call it a mode of reflection. It's going to be an opportunity for us to learn through a reflective practice. Synonyms for learning journals. There are so many different options. We call them learning journals. They may be called a diary. There's logs. There's learning logs. There are many different varieties when we talk about these learning journals. So the biggest thing to remember, however, when we discuss a learning journal is that a learning journal contains facts and reflection, but it has to have that reflective process. It has to have that aspect. So I love this quote, it says, a learning journal is very likely to include factual recordings about a place or time, but it means more than that. It is a learning journal, it is having a developmental plan or a progress file, a record of achievement. So our learning journal is going to have those facts. It's also going to have the reflective piece. You may have that developmental plan, but it's definitely going to show that you have learned from step one to step two. Next, when we look at mediums, mediums are important, but remember, even as you are using the mediums, don't forget that reflective process. So what kind of mediums do you see in learning journals? Some are audio, may just be a recording. There could be text, you're writing it down. Some people use graphics, arts, sketches. Some even just copy and paste from original point of view or the original document. And then of course, there may be any kind of combination of all of these. Maybe there's a video in there and maybe you've added in an audio piece. You could have a sketch. You may have taken a screenshot of something. Maybe it has a graph in it. It could have data. Don't limit yourself. Use whatever you like and make it personal for you. Next, we're going to look at the audience. We really want to pay attention to who you are writing this for, right? And this is one of the biggest questions. First, we want to see who is it written for? Who is it that is writing? And who do you want to add to it? Next, who's going to see it? Is it going to be assessed? Like, is it a class, right? If it's going to be for class, it might need to have a little bit more poignancy or it's going to need to have some kind of format to it. And then lastly, you really want to pay attention to who is it being written for? Is it written for your own personal information or is it written because it needs to be graded or has a purpose of some other point? Remember that learning journals can be used for a lot of fun. However, one of my favorites is looking at Young's. So not all learning journals are going to be as intensive as Young's intensive learning journal that has 19 sections, if you can imagine. However, they do serve a purpose. The main thing is to make it work for you. 